The theme for the week is our top 10 lists of whatever. I was going to do my top 10 favorite composers and lyricists, but I couldn't narrow it down, so instead I'm doing my top 10 favorite musical theater collaborators, or people who worked together to write the songs and musicals. Number 10, Gilbert and Sullivan. I put them lower on the list because I want to focus on American writers, considering musical theater is one of the only art forms you can say is truly American. However, European operatists established a lot of the conventions you see in musical theater, so they count. Number 9, Comden and Green. Not only did they write songs, they also wrote the screenplays to some of my favorite movie musicals like Singing in the Rain and On the Town. Number 8, Howard Ashman and Alan Menken. They write a lot of catchy and upbeat songs, like the songs in Little Shop of Horrors. They are also responsible for many of the songs in classic Disney musicals. Howard Ashman is sadly deceased, but Alan Menken is still composing. He actually just won the Tony for Best Score for Newsies. Number 7, Pasek and Paul. You probably haven't heard of them. Most of my exposure to their writing is through YouTube. They are young, up-and-coming writers who are part of this whole generation of new musical theater writers who are really using the internet as a way of reaching out to fans. I got to see their musical James and the Giant Peach, and it was absolutely fantastic. Number six is a similar team to Pasek and Paul in that they managed to reach out to their fans through social networking and YouTube and using the internet. They're also very young. They are Kerrigan and Loudermilk, and I love them. I was fortunate enough to see the unauthorized autobiography of Samantha Brown at the Norma Terrace Theatre, and I was kind of obsessed with that show. They're capable of writing songs that are both hilarious and poignant. I mean, I there were numbers in that show where I was literally laughing and crying at the same time. Number five is Bach and Harnick. They are probably most famous for writing Fiddler on the Roof, but they've written a lot of other shows like She Loves Me and Fiorello that have some really good songs in them. Number four, Lerner and Lowe. Lerner and Lowe, I think, are particularly good at blending music and lyrics, so it feels like one person wrote them instead of two. I mean, pretty much everybody on my list does that well, but they strike me as doing that particularly well. Number three, Candor and Ebb. You know them because they wrote Chicago and Cabaret, which is one of my favorite musicals in general. One of my favorite things about them is the way they take older musical forms, such as vaudeville and minstrel shows, um, things that were only intended to entertain audiences, and they incorporate them into these really daring shows that challenges their audiences in a very entertaining and artful way. Number two... Stephen Flaherty and Lynn Ahrens. One of their shows is a murder mystery farce. One is a Caribbean fairy tale. One is all about Dr. Seuss. One is about a slave who led rebellions. They are so versatile. They can write anything. And their music and lyrics always reflect the setting and the stories. They are also the writers of Ragtime, which is the show I usually say is my favorite because it's I, I love it so much. Number one, Rogers and Hammerstein, duh. So those are my personal favorite musical theater collaborating teams. If you're still watching this, thank you. I acknowledge that I am a total geek, and a lot of you probably haven't heard of most of those people. But if you're bored this summer and you want to start listening to show tunes, let me know and I'd be happy to make you a playlist to get started.